Hi folks, this is Robert here again with more Rivet Training and we're going to continue on with cable trays. As you can see this model I created here from a template file and as you can see we've got several type of uh, cable tray runs, we've got reducers, we've got flat bends, we've got crosses, we've got T's. Okay, so what I want to uh, focus in on here today is what we have in here. Now we've got uh, trapeze hangers. So I created this family here uh, to do multiple things. As you can see here, we have uh, we have two T's. Um, we have a double decker here where we can actually go and put use a cable trade and, and produce two uh, trapezes. You know, for uh, double cross um, what we would call multiple level trapeze or cable tray. So that's it, as you can see there. That's what happened there. So now how I made that, these are families. Now this is the one family here and we use the visual sequences here. So if I open this family, so I would say edit family. And as you can open here, you can see that there's actually three levels here and I want to go into my front elevation here. So this is all the parameters that we set and we can provide the distance between and you know, we can get all these parameters in this one family. And we also use the visuals here, the visibility settings, in order to turn things on or off to create up a, to create uh, two layer and three layer uh, families. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go back into my model. And so that's what's happening here. So what basically we, we how to create that here is now these families are basically instance parameters. So to create them, say for instance right here, we will select this family and we would edit type and it would duplicate it. And we'll call it whatever we want or we would call it uh, cable hanger say four and say okay and then we can change this to whatever properties we want so if I want to use the support one or support two or support three I can say I want two supports here so I'll go okay and then there's the extra support now what happens now is I can go into my properties dialog box and give a distance between support so I can go gap between one and two. So let's make this say 600. So this family will be in this template file. Uh, I built this family. I'll send it to you. I can email it to you or it'll be in the template. And right here, what I did, I just took the same one family and I created uh, dip duplicates. So this was the two, the one, and the three. And it's just from the same thing. So again, I will copy this one here. I'm sorry, let's do a copy. And let's select it. We will duplicate it. Edit type. Duplicate. And we'll call this uh, three level. Or whatever you want to call it. And we'll go OK. And now we'll select each one of these visibility settings right here. We'll build this family so you can see how this works. And then there you go. So there's our three different um, levels. And again, we can adjust the distance between. So we can also adjust the length. So here we want to make this a 600. And we had one cable tray that was a full meter. Let's make it a thousand or the 1050. Oh, sorry. So 
So building the family is the most important thing. So this one cable tray family, uh, hanger family, trapeze family will be our standard. And we can use this for every situation available. So this is going to be in the template file. And you can take this guy and use whatever you want. And then I used the P, uh, P1001T. Or we can use any type of um, channel that we like. So, hey, I just want to show you this quick, brief little representation. And then I'll go over here and we'll have a look at our cantilevers. They work the same way. I'll select this one cantilever. I'll edit type. I'll duplicate it. And we'll call it... Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to give these any names. I'm going to say 99 here. The problem with duplicating is if you, you have to give it a unique name because if you don't, they'll all change. So now I have that one here. Okay, let's go back into the 99, edit type, and say let's, length, let's make this length. Um, let's say 1,000. Okay, so that's how that's what's happening there. And then we have this cover here. Works the same way. So I just wanted to show you this brief video on how this template file works that because we're adding in this file uh trapeze hangers and other mounting equipment. So hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye and everybody please be safe.